Hi friends, welcome to the next video on number systems. In this video, we'll figure out a few ways of finding say five rational numbers or more than one rational numbers between say two numbers. For example, let's consider the numbers 1 and 3. Now, if the question asks you to find five rational numbers between 1 and 3, there are three ways of going about it. Let's take the step, the first way. Now, uh, the simplest way is, you can say 1.2 or 1.7, 2.1, 2.3, All these are rational numbers and they lie between 1 and 3. There can be infinitely many numbers which lie between 1 and 3. If they ask you to find out rational numbers which are equidistant from each other, then you will have to do it with the second way. Now let us consider the number line between the integers 1 and 3. What we can do is, we can find the midpoint of 1 and 3 by adding 1 and 3 and dividing by 2. That gives us 2. This number. Then we can go and find out the midpoint of 1 and 2. That we can do by adding 1 and 2 and dividing by 2. That is 3 upon 2. Then we can further go on finding out the midpoint of 2 and 3 by the same method. That will give us 5 upon 2 and then we can find out the midpoint of 1 and 3. 1 and 3 by 2. That would be 1 plus 3 by 2 whole upon 2 which is 5 by 4. So this number here would be 5 by 4. Similarly you can find out the midpoint of 3 by 2 and 2. This would be 7 by 4. The number here. So we have found out 5 numbers between 1 and 3 which are rational can further find out more numbers by finding midpoints of all these numbers. Now that the third way is by again drawing the number line between 1 and 3. This way is also given in your NCRT textbooks. So. Uh, suppose you have to find out five rational numbers between the numbers 1 and 3. So you make five points on the number line which are equidistant from each other. So when you mark five points, you basically divide the number line into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 parts. Hence, what you are essentially doing is the distance between 3 and 1 that is 2 is being divided amongst 6 equal parts correct that is 1 by 3 now if you go on adding 1 by 3 to the first point that is 1 you will get the next point Okay. So this point can be represented by 1 plus 1 by 3 or 4 by 3. 
as this distance is 1 by 3 so is this one so the second point can be found out by adding 1 by 3 to the second point that is 4 by 3 plus 1 by 3 or it can also be found out by using 1 plus 2 times of 1 by 3 which is equal to 5 by 3 the next point hence would be 6 by 3 or 2 the next one would be 7 by 3 and the fifth point would be 8 by 3 so the 5 equidistant points between 1 and 3 would be 4 by 3 5 by 3 2 7 by 3 and 8 by 3 I hope this method helps you in finding out more points between two given numbers now in the last video we also talked about irrational numbers so rational numbers just to revise are the numbers which can be represented in the form of p by q where p and q belong to integers and q is not equal to 0 correct while your irrational numbers sorry are the numbers which cannot be represented in the form of p by q if you consider your decimal numbers there are three types of decimal numbers the first one is terminating decimals as the name suggests these numbers end after the decimal point say for example 3.45 this number ends after two digits of the decimal point also a uh, 9 point 1, 2, 3 ends after 3 digits. So these are all terminating numbers. This was the first type of decimal numbers. The second type is non terminating but repeating decimal numbers. Examples of these would be say 6.333 and so on. Even the number 4.1231231123 and so on would be a, a example of non repeating uh, non terminating but repeating numbers. While the third type would be of terminating sorry non terminating and non repeating numbers now these can be of the form 0. Point one seven three two one nine eight four and so on the point is that you cannot find a pattern of repetition among these and these also don't end after the decimal point now these three decimal uh, these three types of decimal numbers can be segregated into two parts the first two that is the terminating and the non terminating repeating types can be classified under the rational numbers so all your rational numbers 
are either of the type terminating or non terminating and repeating and they can be represented in the form of p by q as you must remember while the third type the non terminating and the non repeating are the ones that we call irrational numbers examples of these would be say root 2 root 3 or pi all these are irrational numbers you must be wondering that we sometimes take pi equal to 22 by 7 which is of the form p by q but you must remember that this is just an approximation and the exact value of pi is not 22 by 7 we only use pi equal to 22 by 7 or 3.14 for the sake of simplicity and these are not the exact values pi actually is an irrational number and is a non terminating non repeating decimal number <laughs>